Grande. Terry Veal honored tonight at halftime for being the voice of AG football and basketball for the past 24 years. His son was reading the recognition speech live in the press box. Terry had no idea he was there. It wasn't until he was 15 feet in front of him walking down to the field that he realized his son was there. They shared a brace there. Son Patrick, Staff Sergeant based out of Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. Ah, these are the kind of stories you love to see. Love but that. we go first quarter. AG would have to punt it away. Uh-oh. Trouble. Leland Dean for the Eagles going to recover the Knights fumble and put them in good field position on the 33-yard line. Eagles getting the nerves out early, though. Same with the Knights. A near fumble almost gives possession back to the Knights. But they don't, because two plays later, Drake Missamore, deep. Caleb Clark in the end zone. Look at this reaching fingertip grab for the first touchdown of the evening. Nice play there. The Eagles, they go up 7 0. The Knights could not find the end zone. So, guess what? They're going to settle for a field goal early on in the second quarter. And unlike the slow game, that one is good. <laughs> the 9.59 remaining in the first half, still fresh. I apologize. Miss Moore, not missing much, though. Finds Dean again, taking the Eagles all the way down to the 10 yard line. And from there, Junior Hurley enters the conversation. Nice six yard gain up the middle. Thought he's in, but the ball will be marked within inches of the goal line. So the next play. They give it off to the big fella, Moses Diaz, a defensive lineman, inches into the end zone. Look at the celebration here. The coach is going to, it might break his back. Oh. <laughs> You're not attempt this out. Oh, man, that's good. AG up 14-3. <laughs> Hopefully the coach stretched before that one. The third quarter of the Knights would try their passing game and pick up a first down. Nice 16-yard reception to Nick Morawski before he was forced out of bounds. The drive would continue all the way down to the one yard line. It would be St. Joseph Nick Matautia who keep it himself stretching over the goal line. Finally got six points on the board for St. Joseph. And they're the only touchdown of the evening, unfortunately, for them because the Eagles quick to respond early on the fourth. A nice 10 yard run up the middle. Ben Wallace flex on him. Eagles now up 21 10. AG. Look at that upset over St. Joseph. That's back-to-back -back quality doves against two of the toughest teams in the Mountain League Eagles proved 4-1 the season.